name is Ashley Hall. I am Outreach Program Manager here at the Fabulous Museum of the Rockies. And I'm here to enlighten you as to what we have at Museum of the Rockies that you can utilize for your after school programs and especially uh, teachers, educators, and, uh, and just kind of let you know what's been going on since 2020 and, uh, and what we're up to at Museum of the Rockies. So my name is Ashley Hall. I am Outreach Program Manager at Museum of the Rockies. And hang on one sec. There we go. Grab my keyboard. Uh, I um, run our outreach program. So when you see, um, if you have like libraries or after school providers or um, fairs, festivals, Raptor Fest up at Bridger Bowl, any of those sorts of things, I'm in charge of uh, outreach in the community and also virtual outreach. So this beautiful space that I'm sitting in right here, I'll show you my other angles here. I've got side camera here. I've got a ceiling camera that I can use and show things up close. And this beautiful studio was actually the uh, uh, funded by the E.L. Wiegand Foundation. And this was a, a three, three plus year project that started before I came on in 2021. Um, so I was hired as outreach program manager here at Museum at the Rockies. I came from uh, Cleveland, moved right during pandemic in 2020. And my husband, Lee Hall, uh, runs the digs here at Museum of the Rockies. So he is the uh, lab and field manager. And so if you wonder who's digging up bones now that Jack Horner's retired, um, it is Lee Hall. So my husband, who actually was a student uh, of Jack Horner's in um, Montana State University, he graduated from uh, Montana State with a degree in paleontology. So now he is running the digs with our curator, Dr. John Scanella. Um, and then I came on to do outreach and uh, an engagement with the community, and that's my job, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I've been talking about dinosaurs since I was about four years old, and I'm a paleontologist as well. Um, and so I specialize in my, my sort of field of paleontology, which is um, education. So paleontology education is really what I specialize in. And so... When you're thinking about building an activity or having someone come out to your place, um, make sure you have us on on your first, uh, you know, speed dial at Museum of the Rockies because that's what I do best. So in this virtual studio, we're able to do a lot of different things, um, and I want to walk you through kind of the the menu of offerings that we have here. But if you're not familiar with Museum of the Rockies, this is what we look like. So we are located in Bozeman, Montana, uh, right across from Montana State University. And when you walk up, we have a 40 foot long bronze T-Rex named Big Mike right out front of the museum. And uh, it's an awesome place. Inside we have artifacts from Montana. So we have a history hall that is um, uh, really wonderful and has a lot of offerings for you know teaching about Montana history. And then we also have our Enduring Peoples Hall, which is all about our indigenous tribes here in Montana and uh, all of the, the beautiful uh, culture that we share. And then of course we have paleontology. And so our paleontology galleries are wonderful. This is the Hall of Horns and Teeth, aptly named because we have a lot of horns and teeth. Museum of the Rockies has the biggest collection of uh, T-Rex and Triceratops in the world, and uh, we have actually one of the largest collections of dinosaurs from North America, and that's really what we do best here. So at Museum of the Rockies, we, uh, we are able to do a lot of things, and what I love to do with you guys today is to, uh, to know what questions you might have as well. So if things come up, feel free to utilize the chat box or send me an email uh, my email, if uh, if we want to type that in the chat as well, is uh, Ashley, A-S-H-L-E-Y dot Hall, H-A-L-L, -L, 15 at Montana dot edu. And I'm going to turn on my other microphone so I can go over to the computer and kind of show you guys the menu of options. All right. 
Thank you guys for joining us today. Okay, can you hear me on this microphone now as well? Perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna jump over here. Well, the first thing that I would love everybody to know, and you can still hear me, Heather, we're good. A it's a bit. little low, but it's. Let's see. Put this on my phone here. Can you hear me now? Still about the same volume. Can other people hear as well? Check, check, check. Still a little low on my end. Yeah. You know what, I didn't think about this, but would you mind, Heather, sharing your screen and driving? Yeah, while I'm talking? that would be awesome. Um, do you want to email me the... From, yeah, just, just, just the museumoftherockies.org. Okay, I think I have yeah. it. Yeah, thanks for typing in my email there. Yeah. Awesome. Give me one second, I'll figure it, pull it out. <laughs> So like I was saying, Museum of the Rockies, we have uh, we have basically three big subjects, really two for collections and three that we cover at the museum. So we have paleontology, so the history of dinosaurs at um, Museum of the Rockies covers dinosaurs across Montana from the Jurassic to the Cretaceous. And then we also have history subjects as well, Montana history. So Museum of the Rockies features um, we're basically a regional museum and we're the biggest museum in the state. So here's our website. Thanks for pulling that up. Awesome. This works great. So right now um, we have an exhibit that is uh, called Conserving America's Wildlands. It's a vision of Ted Turner. It's actually a photo exhibition. So sometimes we have photo exhibitions here at the museum. Uh, they're so sort of our shoulder season, we call it. And our big exhibition that I'm so excited for that's coming up this summer is uh, Mythical Creatures. And it's going to cover things like Sasquatch and unicorns and mermaids and a uh, little bit of cryptozoology and a lot of science. So that's going to be our big summer blockbuster. Um, now, you might be wondering, so how do I how do I engage with the museum with my, you know, with my groups? And one way, if you're within driving distance, is you can absolutely come visit us. Um, for any schools during the school year, um, all schools are actually free of charge. We are very passionate about getting that word out. Um, so if we go to, um, let's see, education tab and go down, there's me. If you go down under field trips, that is where you want to book a field trip. If you're with a school um, and school field trips are always free of charge. Um, we have uh, amazing sponsors who make this possible. And we are also able to cover 50% of bus costs, which is absolutely huge. And we're so happy to be able to do that. Um, so if you'd like to make a field trip reservation during the school year, um, we ask that you submit them about two weeks in advance. And you have a few alternate dates because we do get pretty booked up in the springtime. Um, in the summertime, and actually, would you give that field trip request form a quick click? There you go. Real easy to fill out, really straightforward. Try to make it as easy as possible. And then um, just hit submit. And that's, again, for the school year. Um, now I know after school providers, sometimes hard to get away. So don't worry if that doesn't apply to you. There's other things that we can do with y'all as well. Um, so let's click the back button there. And then we're going to go to, we're going to go down to schools and educators. So schools and educators, there you go. Go down there for me. Yep, all the way down. And uh, go back one more. There you go. So go down one, yep, there we go. So this menu right here is your main menu for everything. Um, now, 
In our education department, we have, um, we have a lot to offer. So if you go to virtual programs, this is gonna cover um, the studio that I'm currently in. So the EL Wiegand Digital Learning Studio is our new space. And um, this is, again, brand new, really awesome. We're able to stream to anyone in the world. And if you keep going down there, you'll get the menu of offerings. So one thing I'm really passionate about, and stop right there, scroll a little bit up, is virtual Fossil Fridays. Um, now, right now, these are from, uh, from 9 to 9.30 on Fridays. And I know that schools across Montana are going to a, a four-day work or a four-day school week, which I think is awesome, but uh, might not apply to everybody. So if you're in the classroom at this time, please tell your teachers and friends and fellow educators that this is an offering that we do. It's free of charge from 9 to 9.30 a.m. every Friday. And I talk about a different fossil every Friday. This is very, very like um, K through 12 friendly and, uh, and also general public as well. So uh, a lot of homeschoolers watch, uh, some schools are tuning in and I'm trying to get the word spread about that. Now, if you can't do nine to 9.30, which is a tight timeline, if you uh, scroll down there to streamable learning, Streamable Learning is a partner that we work with, and they're an awesome provider of virtual programs. So this is the menu of uh, programs that are already happening. And so if you have, again, um, just teachers or, uh, or educators who would love to tune in, these are already preset times. And these times are happening. So those are the dates, those are the times, the suggested grades um, based on Montana state standards and the time duration. So we have uh, programs going all the way through June there. Now scroll down a little bit more and we have virtual field trips. Now this is where we get into some of the after school providers. I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, sort of the, the whole menu of options in case we have a lot of people watching. So the virtual field trips is a really cool option because I have uh, what's uh, sort of like a gimbal. It's a, it's a phone stabilizer and I can walk through the galleries and actually do a tour with you and your students um, throughout any of the galleries. So if you want to talk about dinosaurs or T-Rex, Triceratops, history, um, I can basically show anything in our galleries. So that's a really cool option. Um, I can tailor those really easily as well. So if there's something very specific you'd like me to talk about, that's a really awesome thing because there's no like set um, curricula for that. So if you're like, yeah, we're studying fossils, we're going to talk about fossilization. Great. I'm happy to do that with you guys. If it's uh, Montana history and you're learning about the fur trade, we can do that as well. Um, those are real easy to set up and uh, I can make them as short or as long as you'd like. Uh, scroll down a little bit more. And then this is our menu of virtual classes. So uh, one thing about this virtual studio in, in building this and creating this and asking, you know, for the grant uh, for this space is Montana is really big. And of course, everyone knows there's, you know, almost no way to drive, you know, or even be able to visit Museum of the Rockies, even though it is free, you know, it, there's a lot of barriers in the way. And so having this virtual studio allows us to get to you um, at any time with just the click of a button. So these virtual classes down here, if you click on Montana Dinosaurs 101, for example, it will pull up the description, the grade range, and you can book at your leisure. So for these different programs below, so Montana Dinosaurs 101, Five Dinosaur Families, The Rock Cycle, looking inside dinosaurs, T-Rex, Triceratops, and more, um, all of these different programs, these are all able to be requested by you. So if you would like me to zoom into your after-school program and you're way across the state and you're like, there's no way I can ever get there, no problem, we're happy to zoom in with you. All you uh, really need for these is a Zoom link, um, which I can provide, so when you uh, request a program, and you would do that by emailing uh, programs at montana.edu, um, and we can throw that in the chat as well. You would request a program, um, tell me the time, the date, and I'll see if I have that slot available, 
And all you need is a Zoom link and the capability to have a screen or some sort of way to project that to your students. And most, most classrooms, if you're in a school, um, will have that. If there's uh, not a way, we can do like a laptop or something. I know there's a lot of one-room schoolhouses as well, but hopefully everyone's able to get to some sort of a screen these days. Um, our virtual class a real option. Um, one of my favorite things to do with after school providers and anyone in general is just if you want to talk to a paleontologist, I'm happy to do that. Um, one of the things that kids really love to do is just to ask questions, be curious, have their curiosity, you know, um, just satiated, right? So they have a lot of dinosaur questions, don't know who to ask. I'm happy to jump on and do a Q&A about dinosaurs. That's not, I don't think one of the offerings here, let's scroll down there and see if I put that on there yet. Yeah, Q&A with a paleontologist. There you go. Q&A with a fossil preparator. Um, you can also talk to one of our history experts as well. So keep that in mind if you guys are looking for um, an offering like that. Yep, Q&A with a history curator. And that means we'll bring someone in here to talk to your class. And we can see y'all in real time, just how we're seeing Heather. Um, you know, we do that with classes all the time. So I can see them, we can hear them, address them by name. And uh, it's a great way to bring us into your space without um, having like an eight hour drive. I would love to drive that though. That's, that's not an issue in the summertime. <laughs> so uh, go down a little bit more. And then we have this awesome offering, um, which leads me to segue to our outreach kit program. So we are right now um, creating these virtual classes that pair with our outreach kits. So if you click on Yellowstone Forest Ecosystem, we have about 14 outreach kits that you can check out and we ship directly to your location. They are $35 a week, so really inexpensive. It basically just covers the uh, cost of shipping on our end, and then you ship it back, and the cost of shipping is on you unless you are a Title I school. Um, all outreach kits are free for Title I um, and uh, Indigenous schools, so that's a really awesome thing to keep in mind. So the outreach kit programs right now that we have uh, classes paired with, we have the Yellowstone Forest Ecosystem Kit. This forest ecosystem kit has um, furs and pelts and rubber tracks, books, all sorts of things that will allow you to dive into the world of animal adaptations within the Yellowstone Forest ecosystems. Um, the other kit we have here is the Dinosaur Basics in Geologic Time. This has all sorts of little models, uh, dinosaur toys, um, real fossils, and, uh, and activities that you can pair with any after-school program. So whether it's, what is a dinosaur? What is a fossil? Um, we will actually ship you that kit, and then we will guide you guys through um, a virtual lesson with that kit in your hands. So it's pretty cool because we'll be like, you know, uh, all right, class, now take out your T-Rex tooth and you can handle it in real time while we're talking to you about it. And so that's one of my favorite things, favorite offerings that we have where it's you can actually uh, engage with us and not just have a screen, but actual physical objects in your hands. Uh, if you go up again, I'll show you where the outreach kits are available to book. And you can email programs at montana.edu or... Um, MOR outreach at montana.edu, which is listed on that uh, link there. I just wanted to let everybody know they both go to me. All right, so let's go, yep, to outreach kits. So it's right under there. And the outreach kit program is something that I oversee. I'm really passionate about it. I'm updating them all the time. And they have awesome materials inside. So these are big uh, action packers that are full of materials. Uh, I slap the label on them, ship them directly to you, to your um, community center, organization, school, wherever you're teaching. And they include um, lesson plans, lots of objects inside, books, toys, models, and here are the topics we have. So at Museum of the Rockies, we have uh, our third that I didn't mention before. We have a third topic, which is astronomy and space. We have one of the only planetariums here in the state. And uh, if you guys can get over to us, we have an awesome planetarium. We just upgraded to um, 
a brand new software. So the planetarium has never looked better. It's incredible right now. Um, but our astronomy outreach kits cover cosmic colors. So that has to do with spectrum. We have uh, the moon, which has geological samples inside, books, and uh, click on the moon there. Yep. We have living in space. Click on that one. That one should have a photo. Yeah. So I'm getting photos up for all of these different kits. And then scroll down to see what's in that kit there. There we go. So each one of these should have a picture with them. I don't have pictures for all of them right now, but there's a little sampling of what's inside and uh, lots of things to engage kids with in after school programs. The rockets kit actually has uh, like stomp rockets inside and all sorts of other things to teach kids about rockets in space. All right, now paleontology and geology is obviously one of our strong suits. So Dinosaur Basics and Geologic Time is a really awesome kit um, that covers, it's basically for littler kids. So it's grades like K through two. Um, and it goes over the basics of uh, avian and non-avian dinosaurs. So what is a dinosaur? What makes a dinosaur a dinosaur? And, um, and has two real fossils inside. And then click on the fossils kit. This one's my, uh, my favorite one. It's an awesome one. Uh, the fossils kit, if you scroll down there, we have uh, real fossils that we ship across the state. So this is a real triceratops horn that is um, an incredible thing. I've worked in museums across the country. I worked at the Natural History Museum in LA, the La Brea Tar Pits, Cleveland Museum of Natural History. And I've never seen such awesome fossils shipped out um, to anywhere. I mean, it's, I built these boxes myself. They are um, both geological and paleontological specimens that are housed in foam. And then there are books inside and um, cast T-Rex tooth. And uh, my book there as well, I wrote that book, Fossils for Kids. That was my COVID project. And uh, you can actually purchase that at uh, the museum gift store and at Amazon and wherever books are sold. All right, scroll down there. Um, now we do have one for our Eastern, uh, Eastern counties. We have one that lives at our sister museum, the Carter County Museum. And that's called the Maya Kit. It's the Mobile Science Laboratory Math and Agriculture in Action Kit. And this one explores the growth of Maya Sora as compared to those of cattle and other domestic, domesticated livestock. So it kind of pairs the Montana rural students um, with math and science and STEM, um, and also with uh, looking at animals that are extinct. So that's a really cool kit that lives at the Carter County Museum. So you can contact Saber Moore at the Carter County Museum for that one. And then go down one more, Montana Rocks. So this is one that I made in uh, 2022 that's fairly new. This one has rocks of um, different kinds. So we have uh, geological, paleontological, and uh, gems inside of these kits. And go down one more. There you go. Keep scrolling. There you can see the beautiful specimens that I have hand chosen inside. There are igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks in each one of these kits. And you can have these for use in, uh, in your classroom or after school program. All right, and then go down there. And then we also have our Indian Education for All outreach kits. We have two. So currently we have the bison trunk, which is wildly popular. If you want this one, you're gonna have to book it way in advance because this is a very, very popular kit. It contains uh, all of the uh, Indian Education for All standards. Um, everything is aligned and there are real bison bones, bison soap, bison um, fur, bison hooves and horns. There's a whole stomach of a bison in there. And um, it comes with curricula for use with all of these items. And so my recommendation is all the curricula is actually available on our website. So you can download it ahead of time. And if you want to look through and see, like, maybe if it would be useful to you, you can look at those curricula um, on this link. So if you scroll down a little bit, let's see, or maybe it's up. Yeah, there you go. So if you click on view the curriculum, 
Uh, yep, so you should be able to just page through. You can download it. You can share it with uh, teachers who are thinking about getting it. And you can see if it's something that you'd be interested in. So all of the curriculum for the outreach kits is available on our website here. Love that. And I do have some, I'm so excited. I have some new bison bones coming for this kit. Um, one of my indigenous um, uh, interns actually went on a bison hunt this like fall and she acquired some new material. Um, and so I'm going to be getting some of the big bison thoracic vertebrae that make up the hump. And I can send those directly to your classroom. They're super neat. All right, keep on going down. We have one more kit that is uh, available for Indian Education for All. That is our Native American Games kit. And this one's a hoot. This one comes with hand games and games for outside, games for the classroom. And these are all Indian Education for All aligned and Indigenous made. So these are some really awesome kits that would be wonderful for an after school program if you're learning about, um, you know, Montana's cultures. And there are uh, many different games in here and many of the games have different uses. So while they're shared by many um, of the tribes across Montana, they're played in different ways, even though, though it's the same game. And so it has instructions for um, different cultures across Montana, different tribes and how they would play them. All right, go down one more. And then we have our Yellowstone Outreach Kits. So of course we have the greater Yellowstone ecosystem right around us. Some of us are closer than others. And these are awesome because we have thermal features. So thermal features uh, covers, it's a really fun summer one if you guys are doing after school summer programs because it comes with Alka-Seltzer and Mentos and everything to make your own geysers. Um, I restock it every single time that I send it out. So you'll get um, the Mentos, you'll get the um, the, uh, baking soda, you know, the Alka-Seltzer, all that sort of stuff, uh, some DVDs, curriculum, books about geysers, and again, your own experiments. So those are very, very fun. Keep on scrolling down. We've got the Yellowstone Forest Ecosystem. The Forest Ecosystem, um, so this is one of three that we cover with, uh, Forest prairie and riparian. So there are three different outreach kits that come with furs and pelts. Um, the forest ecosystem comes with all animals that would be found within a Yellowstone forest ecosystem. So we have bobcat fur, bear pelts, skunks. Um, that's a bear skull. We have um, bobcats, um, hawks, rabbits, um, and then some rubber tracks to show like the size of a grizzly bear footprint, for example. And so, yep, there's our bear track. And then scroll over a little bit. I think there's something hanging out on the other side there. Yeah, there we go. There's our deer skull too. So, or elk, I should say that's an elk. So it comes with all the information again in the curriculum, but I think the stuff is the coolest thing of all. It's just getting to hold those things and show them to the students and um, these became uh, available to us thanks to Fish and Wildlife. So these are all specimens that were legally obtained as well. Uh, go down um, to the next one. We've got the prairie. Prairie is a really awesome one. Comes with a real pronghorn skull. And also it comes with a bison. Um, it's like the whole head of a bison minus the skull. You can kind of see it on the right hand side there. You can see its nose, but there's a whole bison face in this kit. It's wild. It's a huge head, um, but it's just the fur. It comes with a coyote and fox and hawks. Um, that's a mountain lion skull as well and some rubber tracks. And then some activities, coloring books and things, etc. All right. And the last one. Last one is the riparian and wetland ecosystem kit. And I don't have a picture for this one. I've got to update that, but it comes with um, animals that you would find in a riparian or wetland ecosystem. So this one comes with beavers, um, beaver pelt, beaver skull, um, I believe some moose tracks and some animals you would find around the wetlands, duck skull, uh, muskrat, and um, some birds as well. So that is a lot of outreach kits. So you can see they are um, uh, 
you know, really abundant, really popular. You can book them at any point. So if you want to book them now for summertime, you can do that. Um, if you want to book them now for next year, I don't really have a limit. So if you know what you're going to be teaching, um, you can do that at any point with me. All right. So head on back up to the very tippy top. All right. So that's our outreach kit and then go back a bar. There you go. All right. Now, I know a lot of you probably pre-COVID used our Star Lab Portable Planetarium. And I am so sorry for anybody who has been asking. Um, we've just been absolutely swamped. After COVID has been a really uh, trying time for us because we had a lot of staff turnover. And uh, with my job expanding into the virtual learning space, um, we have not been as active with Star Lab. And so right now I actually have a meeting on my calendar today to figure out um, who is going to run Star Lab because it's sort of out of my purview now. Um, my job is a little bit uh, too big to encompass this. So we're hoping maybe the, the planetarium folks might be able to take it on. And so right now Star Lab or Portable Planetarium is not available, but posted to the website. And if I hear anything, I'll let Heather know. Um, but right now it is not available for the summertime um, until further notice. Um, other resources. So another thing you guys should look at, let's see, go down some. So our school and youth program offerings right now. So we have a brand new school and youth program employee. Her name is Shannon, and she actually just came from Yellowstone National Park. She worked the Youth Conservation Corps there. She is absolutely awesome. And we are going to be getting more youth programs up and going as the, uh, the year progresses. She's just getting onboarded now. So we're super happy to have Shannon on board. So that youth programs bar is going to be um, expanded upon. But go to summer camps right now. So we do have, I think, a couple spots left in our older summer camps, if anybody's wondering. But um, our summer camp program is really, really robust. Um, if you have or run summer camps, you can absolutely bring your camps here in the summer. Go to plan your visit uh, up at the very top of the page there. So if you guys want to bring your group in the summertime, you would use this different field. Um, go down a little bit and you'll see where it says book a group. So if you all want to bring anybody here in the summertime, there is a group field trip request form right there. And so we have two distinctions. So our um, field trip requests for the year run basically like June to, um, uh, what do you call it? Like the school year. <laughs> Sorry about that. My brain's not had enough coffee yet, but it runs the duration of the school year after June. So June, July, August, there we go. Uh, you would want to use the group field trip request form. So click on that, submit your group visit request today. So if you have a boys and girls club, if you have a summer camp, if you have a rec, uh, recreation camp, um, anything that falls outside of the school year, you would use this form. Now, any groups in the summertime um, are all 20% off of uh, general admission. So whereas the school group trips are completely free during the school year, that's a completely different pot of money than the ones in the summertime. In the summertime, we have um, and are able to provide groups a 20% off discount of um, our general admission. So you would fill out this request form for any of those, and then that goes directly to us in our inboxes. And we'll typically schedule you guys within like, like three to five business days typically. Um, for any groups that come during the summertime, um, we don't have like special offerings per se really necessarily for any um, camps or anything like that because we are absolutely flooded in the summertime. So it'd be basically like a group visit. But during the school year, if you want to book a school trip, we do offer workshops and things like that. But basically for like any boys and girls clubs out there, any group trips, we have... Um, uh, you can come into the museum, do a self-guided visit. Um, the Tinsley House, by the way, our 1890s homestead will be open at that time. That runs Memorial Day to Labor Day. And so you can go to the farm, check out the chickens, hang out with the volunteers, um, get hands on with some crafts in the Tinsley House. 
and have some fun out with us at the farm. And yep, go down to the farm there. There it is. So if you've never been to our Living History Farm, it's an awesome experience. We have uh, costumed interpreters who will be talking to you about life in the 1890s and what it was all about. Now, we also have um, classes. So those are showing some classes that we have in the summertime for uh, general public. Um, so if you're interested in learning how to cook like you're in the 1890s, we do that in the summertime as well. But go up to the picture of the house again. It's absolutely gorgeous in the summertime. Um, groups can come through. They can, um, again, engage with our interpreters, learn about life in the 1890s. Uh, go to the garden, pick some vegetables. Um, we'll tell you all about the heirloom veggies out there. And uh, I just love being able to, to show kids like, you know, where carrots come from. Like how many kids, you know, are able to like pull a carrot out of the ground. Um, in Montana, maybe more than where I worked in the past, but when I was in LA working with, you know, after school providers and things like that, that was a pretty, pretty nuanced thing. Um, but Homestead, really awesome. Memorial Day, Labor Day, be sure to check that out during your visit in the summertime. All right, so um, let's open it up to any questions you guys might have. I know I've been talking a ton and hopefully it's been really useful. Um, but that's our slate of programs right now. And um, as far as the education department, we have a uh, very limited staff. So I always say we are a huge, we're a huge entity, but we have so, um, you know, so few people. So if you contact us, you're either going to get um, me, Shannon, our youth and school program manager, Chelsea, our director of education, um, and then we have our living history farm manager, Peter, and Steve, our volunteer manager. So as far as, you know, everything we offer, it rotates on a very small, um, small kind of team, but we work really, really hard. So we hope you guys will take advantage of all of our awesome offerings. Uh, any questions to anybody out there watching? I'd love to be able to, to answer some, or maybe I've explained it all. <laughs> I should say too, while everyone's typing questions, um, we do have um, my train of thought just went out. Not enough coffee. So sorry about that. Um, I'll think of it. Oh, there we go. Homeschool. If you or anyone you know is a homeschooler, we also offer homeschool Mondays. And we have uh, select Mondays that are absolutely free for homeschool consortiums or um, homeschool groups, families, et cetera. It was really, really big during COVID and has continued to be really popular um, as a lot of our um, you know, Montana families are homeschoolers. And so thank you for utilizing that program if you have. Um, so the Montana Homeschool, um, if you wanna go to that actually and share the screen real quick, I'll show you how to utilize that. Um, Montana Homeschoolers are free. On these select dates, um, if you come all the time, we would absolutely recommend a membership as membership pays itself off for a family in just a few visits. But uh, let's go up. And right there under outreach kits is homeschools. So homeschool families are, um, we basically treat it absolutely just like a school group where you can book um, on these select dates. Um, these dates that we've selected, we don't book schools on so that you have sort of a more um, quiet experience as well. And so um, that day you can connect with other homeschoolers, um, do a scavenger hunt that is a guided scavenger hunt throughout the museum. And then the planetarium shows are also free of charge for homeschooling families. So that's a really wonderful program to take advantage of and uh, be sure to tell friends and, and other educators if they homeschool as well. All right. Cool. What amazing resources. Well, that's and uh, that's it as far as the offerings that I have. I'd love to open it up to questions. And of course, if you'd like to book me to come out to your facility, I absolutely have the capacity this summer. Um, my job in the summertime switches around. And so where 
um, you know, like fall and winter, I'm really focused on digital learning, virtual learning. In the summertime, I pack my bags, I hit the road, I grab the uh, Ford Flex, which is our um, dinosaur vehicle. We have a, a Ford Flex with dinosaurs all over it. So there's nothing better than just rolling up in the dinosaur mobile and uh, coming to your place, unloading fossils and talking about uh, dinosaurs to your group. Um, I didn't bring them up today, but I have two awesome puppets. I have a velociraptor puppet that is a full-size velociraptor that I've uh, taken with me to various places. I also have a myasaura and a triceratops that I would love to engage your students with. So if you'd like me to come out to your camp or your uh, boys and girls club for any specific date, I would love to do that with you as well. Well, Heather, thank you so much for having me today. And um, I see we're we're pretty quiet on the chat there, but if you found this useful, uh, type something in the chat there and um, and I'll be happy to take any questions. Ah, Cassie, good question. So is there a cost associated with summer visits? Yes. So during the school year for any school group, um, and it is school groups only. The uh, money that we have allocated is for school groups specifically. So when it comes to all school groups, um, those are free of charge and we cover up to half of bus, uh, bus reimbursement. If it is an indigenous school, we cover all, um, all bus reimbursement, we cover everything. Um, and then we also, um, for group visits, it's a separate distinction. So School visits are free. Um, groups that are uh, like summer camps and that sort of thing, it is 20% off of general admission. So when you email us asking for a field trip, we'll shoot you a quote and, uh, and let you know how much it is in the summertime. Awesome. Thank you for your question, Cassie. And then how about having the van or yourself travel to summer sites? Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, Alicia. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so for me, oh, for me to come to you. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so for me to come to you, um, I will, I will chat with my supervisor. We may be revising it. Um, so if you have a question about me coming out to your school or your facility, um, we're gonna, we're gonna tackle that and try to come up with, uh, uh, mileage or something like that, but I don't have a set price right now. We've kind of been getting it back up on the road, no pun intended since COVID. And so, um, we can do that on like a, a case by case basis. Yeah. Depending on how far away you are, if it requires like an overnight stay and that sort of thing too. And Cassie, where are you at the uh, boys and girls club or what's your facility? Twenty first CCLC in Boulder. CCLC. What does CCLC stand for? Center for Federal Grant. Oh, nice. Yeah. So just email me, and um, we can we can tackle all of your needs on a, a one to one basis. Awesome. Yeah. For you guys, it would probably be free then. Summertime is my absolute favorite. I love hitting the road. So love seeing where you guys are, visiting where you are, all that good stuff. Cool. I can't believe we've gone for almost an hour already. How is that possible? <laughs> it's all the amazing resources you guys have. Yeah, you're, I will share that you're out. You're so welcome, Karen. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, thank you. Oh, great. You've dug with Horner up here on the Hill. Hillney? Highline? Oh, <laughs> Highline. There we go. Highline. Look up. Oh, look forward to utilizing this program. Awesome. Just got a portable planetarium for the Mission Valley, but would love to see how yours works when it's up and running. Hillary, did you get a Star Lab unit or what's your highline? Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Alicia. Um, did you get a Star or a Star Lab, Hillary? That's awesome. 
Yeah, Kristen, you know, it's part of our mission to, or Kirsten, sorry, my screen's kind of far away, advanced sensory learning. So not as nice, Star Lab. Cool though, that's awesome. I mean, introducing kids to space is awesome. Um, yeah, no problem. Highline. Yeah, so part of our mission here at Museum of the Rockies is we want to connect with every single after school provider, every teacher. We want to let everybody know that we are your classroom companion. So if we can fit it in our schedule, we'll make it happen. Well, All thank right. you so much, Ashley, for everything. Um, if there are any questions, I'll make sure to send out your email again and link to your website. And oh, there you go. Do you offer any kind of group staff training on how to use the kits? Um, I can absolutely. Um, also the uh the curriculum, uh, all the curricula are available on. Oh, nice. I work with a lot of pre-teachers who would probably really love seeing something like that virtually. Awesome. It's so easy for us just to turn on and teach from, from right here. So we would love to do that with your class. Um, so for the outreach kits, um, they do come with, uh, with curriculum that you can download beforehand. So if you have any questions about the lessons, y'all can kind of go through it together and I can troubleshoot um, how through it virtually as well. Kind of sit here with the whole thing and like take it out piece by piece. I could also mail it to you, um, you know, like, a few days beforehand. I typically send the kits out the week before you're going to use them so that you know uh, what you're getting into and how to use everything as well. You don't have full training on how to use curriculum often, so I'm trying to bridge. Oh, nice. Seasoned teachers and very young ones. Yeah, we do that here in the summertime for summer camps. Um, we have very young students who are very uh, new to teaching, so I totally understand that. Uh, by the way, if anyone has any um, student staff uh, that or are looking for something in Bozeman, we do hire summer camp instructors. So if you have kids or, um, or young people who are interested and need like a very first job, um, that's a really good thing for them to be a camp counselor as well. Or if you're a teacher, sorry about that. If you're a teacher as well, um, we also recruit teachers for summer camps to teach during the summertime. Awesome. Well, Heather, again, thank you so much for having me. I, um, oh, yay. Lona's Inc. and Shelby. Yay. Oh, thanks. I hope I'm saying Alicia. Can't wait to start utilizing resources. Yay, Hillary. I can't wait to talk to everybody and to see you guys in person. Thank you so, so, so very much. There's Alicia. I can see her now. <laughs> Oh, and some very cute little ones. Hi, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Well, hopefully I'll see you guys this summer and uh, in person or virtually, whichever you prefer. But we're here for you. So if you're teaching about dinosaurs or Montana history, we want to be your first stop shop. Thanks, Cassie. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ashley. We really appreciate your time. And I'll make Absolutely. sure to send out the resources. and Yeah. Yeah, and thanks to great. all of you for providing after school, um, after school care, after school resources. We're all in this together and uh, we would just love to, to be part of it. So thanks for having me.